right, I'm talking to Paul from Bondi's. We're going to chat about why dogs have such a lot of problems with skin and itching and what one can do about that. Well, firstly, dealing with skin matters is very easy to solve. What we do know, as a matter of fact, with skin disorders is that's due to inflamed cells. Now, what causes inflamed cells? That's an, an acidic environment within the body. What causes acidity? We know chemicals, poisons, and acidic diets. So if you can control that acidity, you've in essence sorted out the problems. Dealing with chemicals and poisons, let's be very wary about what kind of poisons and chemicals we use in terms of flea poisons, the kind of shampoos that we use. In terms of diet, as a matter of fact, we know what kind of ingredients are classified as acidic and those that, that are uh, alkaline based. So what we do in every case, we strive for a diet that has an alkaline base, a net alkaline base after digestion. And there is nothing more richer in terms of alkaline and nutritional value than vegetables. Yes, meat plays a, a role, but it is acidic in nature. But veggies sustains life. And when we turn towards that as a stable type of diet, you are then able to control acid within one's body, you sort out acidosis, you sort out inflammation, and you solve your dog's skin disorders. However, we are found wanting. Our foods are not organic anymore. They're not as pure. So I'm all for supplementation. Supplements that enhance immunity and the digestion are absolutely essential. Stuff like apple cider vinegar balances your pH. Omega-3 fish oils are absolutely essential in terms of sorting out the, the, the damaged cells. Probiotics, spirulinas, anything that you know that's going to boost that immunity will always serve you well and help to sort out all these skin disorders. So be very, very wary in the choice of ingredients that you choose. Be very, very wary the kind of chemicals and grooming products that you use because it will always affect skin. Okay, so you say a lot about vegetables. Are you talking about all types of vegetables or the less carbohydrate vegetables? All your green veg uh, veggies green, yeah. green have incredible nutritional value. Pulp vegetables are high GI. They serve a purpose, but many of our dogs are diabetic whether we know it or not. So my preference would be always your green vegetables, your spinach, your kale, your parsley, your celery. Those hold incredible nutritional values. So it's stuff that goes above the ground really. Exactly. And to add